gonna give you a quick comparison about the program. My program is Natural Cycle. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is March 25th and it is my cycle day 13 today. So in today's video, I'm just going to make a quick update about the monitoring in preparation for my embryo transfer. So during cycle day 11, I just had transview ultrasound and follow-up consultation. That's it. And they found out the endometrial lining is only around 7.8 millimeters. It's a bit thin during cycle day 11. And I have three dominant follicles. First dominant is around 17.5 millimeters. The other one is around 16, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you later. And the other one is around 15. Yeah, something like that. Here's the endometrial lining during the cycle day 11. It is a bit thin. And now the doctor is trying to measure the follicle on my right ovary. Cycle day 11. There you go. It is 7.9 millimeters. Is it 17.9? Yeah. And the second one is 13.8 millimeters. And the third one is, let's see, 16.5 millimeters. 16 or 13? I think it's 16.5. And the doctor said my cycle has changed because previously, my two previous cycles, during the cycle day 9, the dominant follicle is already around 21 millimeters and the endometrial lining is already trilaminar in layer which is nearly 9 millimeters or 8.9 estradiol is already around 130 yeah so basically i had shorter cycle obviously i'm sorry my voice is a bit harsh i have a sore throat and today i just had my appointment it is my cycle day 13 I had a trans V ultrasound and then they found out the endometrial lining is already around 13.2. I don't know exactly the number, but it's around 13 millimeters. This is the lining of the uterus. This is my endometrial lining and I mentioned earlier it's already 13.8. Let us see if it is 13.8 because I am not really sure. So the doctor is trying to measure. That's a triple layer. Oh, it's only 11.8. It's okay, according to the doctor, as long as it is triple in layer. That's the ideal layer for implantation. This is the right ovary, and I have around 11 follicles. The dominant follicles are 3. So let us see the exact measurement. So the follicles are already big. That is why the doctor decided to check my hormones, estradiol, luteinizing hormone, and progesterone. Because... The bigger the follicle, the higher the chance that you get the estradiol. So the egg is already matured if you get the higher estradiol level. So let's see the exact measurement here. So that's the dominant follicle. The first one is 23.1. The second one is 17.4 millimeters. That's the smallest. And the second one is around 20, 22. 22.1 or 20. 20 I'm not sure it's around 22.1 and now the doctor is trying to locate my left ovary they always have a hard time to locate my left ovary they had to put pressure on it just to locate it because that's the affected side I had a partial ovarectomy because of the ovarian cyst so yeah the size of that left ovary is already small because I had that um, ovarian cyst and they removed it through laparoscopy. So the size is already small. On the left ovary, I have around five, five to six follicles, but they are below 10 millimeters. So they don't consider it if it's below 10 millimeters. It's very small. And then the doctor advised me to have a trigger. Oh, I already administered nasal spray. This is from the previous cycle. This is a leftover, but still okay. Because the expiration here is August 21. So 
it is still okay as long as it is inside the fridge. So I'll be back on the 29th for the transfer. I'm just going to have my uh, blood test. They will check if my progesterone level is okay during that day and then we'll proceed with the transfer and hopefully this is it. And also I have here Dufaston. So today is 25th. I just had the nasal spray trigger that is to burst the egg or that is to trigger ovulation. So yeah, that's the process. I need to ovulate because if I will not ovulate, I won't get a very good number of hormones like progesterone. So I can only get a very good number of progesterone. I mean, the natural progesterone if I ovulate it. So there is a trigger. That's the purpose of the trigger. Even though I'm not going to do the harvest, I still have to do the trigger. So on the 28th, I'm going to start the Dufaston three times a day. So that would be 28th and on the 29th. Dr. Minjala said the follicles are looking good and the hormones or the estradiol level is very good. He asked me if I'd like to do another egg retrieval. And then the nurse explained to me the expenses and it is very expensive. Because you see, previously I only spent 17000 for the harvest. And for the monitoring, 15,000 or 10,000, I am not sure. But altogether, day two up to the retrieval, I only spent 30,000. That's 16,000 for the uh, freezing of the embryo. But this time, as you can see, <laughs> since they call it domino cycle, the harvest only is 50,400, and that is very expensive. And then, apart from the egg retrieval, I need to pay the semen preparation of 11200 And then the ICSI is 16800 <laughs> But as you can see, during my previous cycle in my natural program, I did not pay anything for ICSI and the day one, day two culture. It is free because I will only pay that if I get a positive result. If I didn't get a positive result, the ICSI and the, and the culture of the embryo is free. Something like that. So I'm really confused. Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a quick comparison about the program. My program is Natural Cycle. So for the oocyte pickup in Natural Cycle, I only paid 16800 But in mini stimulation, their oocyte pickup is 50400 in stimulated cycle, there are chance of getting higher number of follicles to be aspirated. And in natural cycle, normally it is one or sometimes or very rare, two or three. So yeah, like in my case now, it's a natural naman. Wala naman akong nilagay na injection. Nagletrozole lang ako just to support. But it happened nga na nagkaroon ako ng three follicle at nag match pa yung estradiol ko. So, sabi ni Dr. Minjala, possible daw talaga. Dun sa tatlong follicle na yun, may dalawang laman talaga yung follicle na yun. Na may laman siya na uusite. So, yun, nahirapan ako mag-decide because here, even though I did a natural cycle during this uh, monitoring for the preparation sa embryo transfer ko, if magpapaharvest daw ulit ako, hindi na daw 16,800. Regardless kung mag-anesthesia man daw ako o hindi, I still have to pay 50,000 for the harvest only. Kasi they call it a uh, domino cycle. Sa natural cycle kasi wala silang program na domino cycle. Ang domino cycle lang nila is with the minimal stimulation. Pero I'm not sure kasi gusto ko pa rin i-confirm yan. Sayang din kasi yung three follicles ko na yun. It's from a natural naman. Kaya yun. So, I don't know. Pinakita ko lang guys para may idea kayo. And ito yung sinasabi ko. If nasa under ka ng natural program, sa day ng harvest mo, wala kang babayaran. Kundi pick up lang and gamot. Yung sa akin, inabot lang ng 17,000 because I have Dufaston 6 pieces and si Fioroxime na 8 pieces ata yun. Parang ganun. And then, Kapag nakakolek na ng egg, you don't have to pay for the um, semen preparation, day 1 and day 2 culture. 
As you can see here guys, it's a mini stimulated cycle. On the day ng retrieval ng egg, oocyte pickup, you have to pay 50,000. Pick up only. And after ng pick up, it pre-prepare yung semen. That is 11,200. Ako sa natural cycle, I didn't pay for this. Pero meron akong process niyan, yung semen preparation niya, 11,200. Babayaran ko lang yan kapag nag-positive pregnancy ako. Since hindi pa naman ako nag-positive pregnancy, um, hindi muna siya babayaran or it's like free, parang or na wave, ganun. And then, meron din akong ICSI procedure. ICSI, kasi meron kaming morphology issues, so that is the process of fertilization na ginawa sa amin. Ang ICSI talaga is 16,800. Wala din akong binayarin dyan kasi hindi pa nga ako nag-positive pregnancy. So, babayaran ko lang yung mga yan kapag nag-positive pregnancy na ako. And again, it is waived. So, yung sa akin naman, dito lang ako inabot kasi natural cycle. Culture nila ng day 1 and day 2, ginawa ko din yan. Ginawa din yan sa embryo ko. It is 22,400. So, wala akong binayarin din dyan kasi nga under natural program ako. Again, babayaran ko lang yan kapag nag positive pregnancy ako. So, hanggang dyan sana yung binayaran ko. So, that's the difference nung expenses dun sa natural. But again, kapag nag-positive pregnancy naman ako dito sa natural, ganun din, magbabaya din ako ng additional 151,000. Medyo na-confuse ako dun sa oocyte pickup. Kasi, kung ipa-oocyte pickup ko lang naman sana yun, it, kahit ito lang naman sana babayaran ko eh. Diba? 16,800 ba naman akong anesthesia. And then, I am willing to pay naman for the process ng ICSI since uh, domino cycle na siya. Parang out na siya dun sa program ng natural uh, cycle uh, payment scheme. So, I am willing to pay naman ng ICSI na 16,800 and yung day 1 and day 2 culture. Ito lang, medyo namahalan ako dito sa 50,000. Dr. Manjala said, it's okay, just, we, we will just transfer this uh, frozen embryo from a natural cycle, and then whatever will be the result, then I can do another natural cycle. And he said, anyway, your ovaries are still responding very well during the natural cycle, so that would be fine. So, let us see. So emotionally, I am ready. I am ready to accept everything, whatever will be the result. So I'm ready. And I surrendered everything to God. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And if you are new here, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for the update. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload videos.